Hello and welcome to the race room rookie experience. I'm Jord and today we're going to be driving an NSU at Zolder. So we're uh, back in the rookie lobbies and we're in this old weapon of a car okay, Jordy. Get ready. at the start finish line. And uh, with these cars it's actually go, go, pretty go. difficult to mess the start up so that's, uh, that's going to go in my favour. But we qualified P3, so P3 on the grid. And uh, we're just going to come into T1 now. And no contact or anything, so it's all good. It's what we like to see. And we're just going to tuck in uh, into the slipstream of this orange car. I'm not sure how powerful the slipstream is in the NSU cars, but uh, we're going to use every advantage we can get. You really need it in these cars because they have so little power. It's all about uh, carrying momentum in these cars and getting your lines right. Uh, but we're just going to try and get through the first lap nice and safe. No major incidents or anything like that. As we come into the first chicane, I make a bit of a hash of it. Get on the power a bit too early and that drags the car out wide. So we get an incident point there but it's nothing catastrophic. As now we come down into the second chicane, into the braking zone. What I want really is those two cars in front to start fighting, and then maybe we can uh, take advantage of that. So we'll come round this long sweeping right hander now. I don't know the corner names, I'm pretty useless with things like that. Uh, they are going to start battling actually, and the blue car in P1 just goes absolutely off into okay, the gravel so a bit of a misjudgment by him and we're right on the back of this orange car now again in the slipstream it leaves a gap around the outside so I have a bit of a look switch it to the inside but we're not gonna try a move we're a bit too far behind for any crazy dive bombs or anything like that so just playing a bit of a mind game keeping on uh, keeping on his toes but we got through lap one all in one piece no big crashes, and we've got quite a gap, uh, a big gap to P3, so uh, that hopefully will go in his favour. Just a bit skittish with the steering into T1, I was turning a bit too early, so lost a bit of time there. But we come into T2, and I actually get a pretty good run out of here, uh, make the time back up on the car ahead. As uh, we come into T3, he's a bit slow, and I go for a, a bit of a lunge up the inside, uh, knowing that you don't need to really break there. And to be fair to him, he leaves me the space, so it's going to be a drag race now into the chicane. And we're just going to pull ahead, and then by the time we get to the chicane, well, we're ahead, we're in P1. So we might actually win a race on camera. Possibly. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, but we actually stayed P1 for most of the race. Uh, this was actually my fastest lap fastest of the race. So we break in just before the little uh, bridge thing. And getting the power on as early as you can, trying to avoid going into the gravel there. That really slows this car down. Uh, down into third, power on, on that first apex. Let the car run out wide, but then... Uh, took it back in for this second apex and then you're looking for the grey stuff on the left the lifting about where the second thing is and again power on at the apex as early as you can without uh, running into the gravel so the gravel really slows the car down and then uh, coming into the first chicane braking just after that f uh, 100 meter board down into second trying to get as straight a line as you can through there and now up into third. So flat out round this long sweeping left hander. Braking just after the end of the grey stuff on the left. Again trying to hit all the apexes. A bit slow through there. Can probably carry a little bit more speed. But we'll flat out again now. All the way round this sweeping right hander. Trying to use as little steering as you need to. And carrying as much momentum as you can. Coming into the hairpin. Again, breaking just after that 100 meter board, down into second, tucking it in nicely on the power, using a bit of that runoff. And then we 
come down now onto the charge into the final chicane. Okay, Jordy, uh, up into fourth. We've only tight. got four Not gears. Sure so braking again just after that 100 metre board in this car. Uh, getting on that uh, first apex and the second one, letting the car go out wide again, using a bit of the runoff, and uh, just don't get the tyres on the grass. And that was my best lap. Not the fastest lap. I've seen people go a lot faster than me, but uh, that's kind of how I was doing the lap. And it was, it was working out for me. The car behind was about a second a lap quicker, though, as we come into the second to last lap now, coming up to the hairpin. You can see him in my mirrors. It's uh, a black car now, so uh, he must have come from further down the grid. We make a bit of a hash of the exit of that, and that's going to let him get right onto his tails coming into the final chicane. So I'm going to keep the car into the middle of the track, go defensive. Again, break just after that 100 board. And a bit right of a lockup, but not right. as much as a lockup as the guy behind who uh, sends himself off into the gravel realm. And we're going to okay, live to fight for another lap. Five so we come across the line. In We're in the lead, the and Come this on. is the last lap, but coming up to the same place, this is the run up to the hairpin. As you can see, he's just taking chunks and chunks of time out of it. Uh, but we managed to get it round there, on the uh, final bit, and we got a pretty good exit actually. I think we did pull away maybe a tenth or two on this little straight, so all we've got to do now is get it round the last chicane, and then on to the start-finish line and win. But of course... We bottle it on the last corner of the race, Yellow and he's going to go cruising past about, I don't know, 100 metres before the line. Might be a bit more than that. But we absolutely bottle the win at the last minute. Nice one, Jordan. So it's going to be P2. That's a podium. And uh, yeah, it's not the first time that's happened. We have bottled that corner before. So maybe Zolder's just a bit of a cursed track for us. Anyway, there he is, Captain Moist. Dickinson himself uh, But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit like hit subscribe You're welcome to join my discord. That's linked below and I'll see you all in the next video